Hello! Today we're going to focus on writing words with the letter C and the letter K. You all know that C and K make the K sound, but did you know that there are actually rules to help us figure out which one we need to write, a C or a K, when we're writing words? So that's what we're going to get to do today, and it's going to be super fun because you get to do some drawing with me after we draw we'll write some words. So I'd like you to get some paper, at least two pieces of paper, two or three pieces of paper, and something to write with. Just hit pause until you've got all the materials you need, and then you can hit play again, okay? Um, components of this activity come from the Orton-Gillingham program. If you've got your paper, take one piece and fold it in half, like a hamburger. I don't know if you guys know the hamburger versus hot fold, dog fold, but just like that, okay? Some of my friends are going to know these pictures. And this will be a review for you. And some of my friends, this is brand new, okay? So once you've got your paper folded, you can open it up like this. And we're going to start with this first side. So you can draw right on the paper. I'm going to draw on my whiteboard just because I want to make it bigger. But I would love for yours to be on paper if you have it, because that way it's going to turn into a poster for you that you can look back at time and time again. Okay, so you've got your one side of your paper. I've got my whiteboard, so it'll be a little easier. And we're going to start by drawing a big C. Can you see my C? Excellent. Now, here with our C, we're going to make a cat because cat starts with C. So color that C in nice and dark, nice and thick so we can see that letter C. Now we're going to turn it into a cat. Are you ready? Give our cat some eyes and a nose, of course, and a mouth. And then you can add some whiskers and some ears. And I've got a cat. Do you have a cat too? If you need more time to work on your cat, just hit pause. I can scooch this a little closer for you to see. Okay, just hit pause and you can continue working on making your cat. So what do you notice about your picture? C goes with A, O, and U. C has A-O-N-U. Say it with me. C has A-O-N-U. So when we're writing words like can, for example, we know that it has to start with a C because it has an A after it. And C goes with A. So can would start with a C. If we wanted to write the word cot, like something that you might sleep on, a cot. Hmm, that has an O. So what letter does it have to start with? A C. Cot would also start with C. What if I did cup? We're going to get a drink out of the cup. Hmm, uh, 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 U. So it has to start with the letter C. C has A-O-N-U. Do it with me. C has A-O-N-U. Excellent. Hit pause. Finish making that side of your paper because it's going to become a poster. So here on this side, you can have your cat and some example words if you have room for those words as well. Okay. Once you've got that whole part done, then hit play again and we're going to get into K. Are you ready? C 
So, K, we're going to make a big giant K. I'm going to make it nice and thick again. So you can see it really well. So you can draw that nice thick K on that other side of your paper. So if you have your C on this side with your cat, then you'll have your K on this side. And then you'll have your own handy dandy poster. Okay, so you can fold to this side and work on your K. Okay. If you need a little more time to make that K, go ahead and just hit pause. I'm going to continue on, and I'm going to turn K into a kite. Are you ready? So I'm going to go here and here to make it look like a kite. Do you see my kite? Mm-hmm. And I'm going to add E and I because K goes with E and I. So if I were to write the word kit, it has an I. What letter do I need to start with? K. It starts with K. Hmm. What about the word kept? Eh, eh, eh. Has an E. K. Ept. Also would start with a K. Excellent. Take your time finishing your K so that you've got your own poster with C on one side and K on the other. And then it might look a little something like this. C takes A-O-N-U. K takes the other two. E-I. Can you do that with me? Hit pause if you haven't finished your K. And you can finish it now. Okay, I'll let you see that for a second. And then when you're ready, hit play again. All right, say the rhyme with me. Here we go. C takes A-O-N-U. K takes the other two. E-I. Again. C takes A-O-N-U. K takes the other two. E-I. Now let's do some writing with it. Are you ready? So keep your poster handy so you can look at it and know which letter you need, whether you need a C or if you need a K. Okay. All right, here we go. Clip it right there so we can see it. And we're going to write the word cod. Cod. It's a type of fish. Cod. I'm going to give you a minute to try it first. Hmm, let's pound it. Cod. Let's tap it. C-A-D. Cod. What's that middle sound? K ah, ah. So what letter does it have to start with? A C. Yep. Go ahead and write cod. If you need more time, hit pause. Cod starts with C. K Cod, cod. How do you know that cod starts with a C? Because it's got the O. C takes A-O-N-U. K takes the other two. E-I. All right, let's do another one. Let's do the word kip. Kip. Pound it with me. Kip. Tap it. Hmm. It's got an I. What 
what letter does it need to start with? It needs to start with that K. Go ahead and write Kip. Hit pause if you're still writing Kip and need more time. K -eh. you know to start with a K instead of a C? Because it has an I in it. Say the rhyme with me. Here we go. C has A O N U. K takes the other two. E I. Do it again. C takes A O N U. K takes the other two. E I. Excellent. All right. Are you ready? Let's do CAD. Pound it with me. CAD. Tap it with me. Ad, cad, hmm. Which letter needs that? Comes with the A for a. Do you see it? Okay, go ahead and write cad. Hit pause if you need more time. Then you can check it with mine. And did you start with a C? How did you know to start with a C? Because it has the letter A. Do the rhyme with me. C takes A-O-N-U. K takes the other two. E-I. Good job. All right, these next two, I'm not going to give you any hints. Okay? So you can look at your poster. You could look at my poster to figure it out. Okay, our next word is cop. Cop is another word for a police officer. Cop. Let's pound it. Cop. Tap it. Cop. Cop. Okay, you think about what is that middle sound? What letter goes with that sound? Hmm. Write it down. Cop. If you need more time, hit pause, and then you can check it with mine. K -a -p -cop. Hmm, did you get it with the C? Yeah. If not, that's okay. Erase it and fix it. This is tricky stuff. This is brand new stuff for a lot of us, okay? Great job. How do you know it starts with a C? Because O goes with a C. Do the rhyme with me. C takes A O N U. K takes the other two. E I. Excellent. Your next word is kit. Kit. Can you get the kit out for making a project? Kit. Pound it. Kit. Tap it. K I T. Kit. Not going to give you any clues. You look at it, think about what that middle sound is. Which letter goes with that middle sound? And write kit. If you need some more time, just hit pause. Then you can hit play again when you're ready to see the answer. K it. Kit. Did you start with a K? How did you know it starts with a K? K -i -i -i. Has that I, so it's got to be K. All right, do the rhyme with me. C takes A O N U. K takes the other two. E I. One more time. C takes A O N U. K takes the other two. E I. Excellent! I would love for you to teach that rhyme to somebody at home tonight, okay? All right, now we are into bonus round, okay? Our bonus is to see if we can write a sentence. And you're going to have to think about that C and that K when writing the sentence and see which one you need, okay? The sentence is, the cop and the kid did a jig. The cop and the kid did a jig. Do it with me. The cop and the kid did a jig. 
Now, normally I give you paper that already has the lines that you need, but since you're at home, I thought you could draw it yourself and I'll show you how. So we're gonna do a line and we're gonna add a mountain. For those that don't know, our mountain tells us that we need a capital at the beginning of that sentence. And of course we do, because the beginning of every sentence starts with a capital. The cop and, and is a, oh, and, no, nope, I goofed. And just needs one, because that's one that we can stretch the sounds. And the. I guess and could go either way. And is a sight word as well. Okay, so you can do two lines. The cop and the kid did a jig. And then I put a box to remind me that I need some sort of punctuation there. Okay, take your time copying over the lines so that you're ready to write. Okay, hit pause so that you can get it all on there. You don't want to start writing until you've got the whole thing ready, okay? Once you've got those lines, we're going to say the sentence again. The cop and the kid did a jig. Do it with me. Point while, I, while we say it together. The cop and the kid did a jig. A jig is a type of dance, okay? So go ahead and write the cop. The cop. Hmm. That's pretty easy, right? But did you remember to start with a capital? Now, cop. Mm, is it a C or a K? Well, let's try cop. Cop. K. A. P. Cop. It's that middle sound. Which letter goes with that ah sound or that letter O? Oh. Did you get it? If you're still working on it, hit pause. The cop. I knew it was a C because C goes with O. C takes A O N U. K takes the other two. E I. The cop. And the, go ahead and do and and the, those are both sight words that we know. And the. If you need more time to write those, please hit pause. And then restart when you're ready. And the, the cop and the kid. Hmm, pound kid, kid, tap it, k, i, d, kid. Hmm. I'm going to see if you can write it right, kid, k, i, 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 i. Did you get kid? Did you write it? Which, which letter goes with the I? We need to start with a K, don't we? K -id. The cop and the kid did a jig. See if you can finish the whole rest of the sentence. Did a jig. If you need to pound any of them out, feel free and tap them. Okay, hit pause while you finish writing did a jig. Once you finish writing did a jig, then you can hit play again and check it with mine. Did, did, d, id, did. Did a Watch that dive down. J, j, jig, jig, j, i, g, jig, j, i, and that, that G's a dive down too. G, 
jig. Did anyone add punctuation yet? Put a punctuation mark. What do you think you need at the end? I'm going to put a period, but you could absolutely put an exclamation point too if you're excited about them doing a jig. Read the whole sentence with me, please. Point to your words while we read. The cop and the kid did a jig. Great job. Let's do our rhyme one more time so that you can teach it to someone at home with the poster you made. Here we go. C, C breaks A, O, N, U. K does the other two. E, I. Did I goof it up a little bit? Let's try one more time. C takes A, O, N, U. K takes the other two. E, I. See if you can do it at home all on your own. C takes A, O, N, U. K takes the other two. E, I. Show off those drawings for your family and see if you can write some words that have C and K sounds in them. Okay. Some other words that you could write at home for your family include Kim, Cog, Kip, Cad, Kid, Kim, Cop. And then you can see if you can solve some of those at home as well, okay? Great job. I'll see you later. I hope you had fun with C and K.